Heavenly Father, we bless you, God, and we praise you, God, Lord, and we pray that you would open our eyes to see the beauty and the things that you've done and the things that you've created, Lord, and open our eyes to see your vision, to see your will for us and our, your will for this world and this church and this city, Lord. And so, God, we um, ask that you, are, you turn our eyes away from this world and instead turn it to you, Lord, so that we can um, just bask in your glory, Lord, and that we would be able to enjoy your presence, Lord. And God, we, we bless your name. We worship you, Lord. You are more than worthy of praise. You are more than worthy of our attention and um, our, our lives, Lord. And so, God, we give you um, we give you our attention this morning. We give you our hearts. God, we, we also give you the offering of um, our tithing and offering, Lord. And God, all of it, may you bless it. May you um, do good with it. May you build your kingdom with it, Lord. We pray this all in Jesus' name. Amen. You may be seated. Good morning. Can you hear me? No? Do you hear me? <clears throat> I have a little cough, so I maybe I feel more comfortable putting leave my mask on. <laughs> but can it, you can hear me clearly? All right. <clears throat> Good morning. Um, Happy New Year. Uh, so uh, this morning we're gonna look into the book of Psalm uh, 139. So if you have your own Bibles, you can follow along. Um, otherwise, I have it on the screen. This is, I um, hope you can read it. Um, this is actually the message translation. So it's a little bit different from maybe the NIV or the ESV that you may be reading. Uh, but you can follow along with whatever translation that you have. <clears throat> So Psalm 139, God, investigate my life. Get all the facts firsthand. I'm an open book to you, even from a distance. You know what I'm thinking. You know when I leave and when I get back. <clears throat> I'm never out of your sight. You know everything I'm going to say before I start the first sentence. I look behind me and you're there, then up ahead and you're there too. <clears throat> Your reassuring presence coming and going, this is too much, too wonderful. I can't take it all in. Is there any place I can go to avoid your spirit, to be out of your sight? If I climb to the sky, you're there. If I go underground, you're there. If I flew on morning's wings to the far western horizon, you'd find me in a minute. You're already there waiting. Then I said to myself, oh, he even sees me in the dark. At night, I'm immersed in the light. It's a fact. Darkness isn't dark to you. Night and day, darkness and light, they're all the same to you. Oh yes, you shaped me first inside, then out. You formed me in my mother's womb. I thank you, high God, you're breathtaking. Body and soul, I am marvelously made. I worship in adoration. What a creation. You know me inside and out. You know every bone in my body, you know exactly how I was made bit by bit, how I was sculpted from nothing into something. Like an open book, you watched me grow from conception to birth. All the stages of my life were spread out before you, the days of my life all prepared before I'd even lived one day. <clears throat> Your thoughts, how rare, how beautiful, God, I'll never comprehend them. I couldn't even begin to count them. 
any more than I could count the sand of the sea. Oh, let me rise in the morning and live always with you. And please, God, do away with wickedness for good. And you murderers out there, all the men and women who belittle you, God, infatuated with cheap and God imitations, see how I hate those who hate you, God. See how I loathe all those godless arrogance. I hate it with pure, unadulterated hatred. Your enemies are my enemies. Investigate me. Investigate my life, O oh God. Find out everything about me. Cross-examine and test me. Get a clear picture of what I'm about. See for yourself whether I've done anything wrong. Then guide me on a road to eternal life. <clears throat> so for some, actually, <clears throat> let's pray first. <clears throat> Father, we thank you for your word. We thank you that you continually speak through your word. This is your word, Lord, sharper than any double-edged sword. So God, may you be here this morning, wherever we're listening. Um, God, your spirit is all around us, Lord. And so we trust in your spirit. May you open our hearts, open our ears, our eyes, that we may hear what you have to say to this church. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, so <clears throat> for some, right, a new year is meaningful. Right? It's a start of something new. Right? It's a possibility to start afresh. Strive to complete something this year or maybe go somewhere. Grow in wisdom and understanding. We all want to better ourselves. We have hopes and dreams to accomplish this year. All these great things we look forward to in life. And it's, it's good to hope and dream, definitely. In doing so, let's put on some biblical perspective to make our hopes and dreams work out. Because if it's not a biblical perspective, it's only our perspective what we think and see and what other people tell us to see, to tell us what our hopes and dreams should be. So here in Psalm 139, King David writes this beautiful psalm that gives a great perspective that will help our hopes and dreams. You see, even as a king, which is the highest position on earth, he has to answer to someone greater. And so do you. So do us. We all, all of us, we need to answer to God. In all that we say, we think, and do, we will answer to God. <clears throat> so in this psalm, David starts out, naked before God, not physically, but mentally, spiritually, emotionally naked. He says, God, investigate me. Search my heart. How many of you would dare to ask that of God? If you would, then that's great. You're on the right track. Praise the Lord. But if you cannot, then we need to come to God and repent. Start the year off right. Repent. If you desire for 2022 to be better than last year or the years before, we need to come back to God. We need to get right with God. Otherwise, we deceive ourselves. We're deceiving ourselves, thinking that we can do it better this year. And that's wrong. If you want God to bless what your hopes and dreams are for this year and the years to come, you need to get right with God first. 
And David knows this. <clears throat> he knows that he must get right with God first because in the next part, he says, God, you know every word before I speak. You know my thoughts. Investigate the words that I say. Investigate my thoughts. He got this right. Because in Matthew, Jesus says, I tell you that everyone will have to give account on the day of judgment for every empty word they have spoken. For by your words you will be acquitted, and by your words you will be condemned. Seriously, our words matter. Our words matter. We all will be judged. In 1 Peter, it says, they, but they will have to give account to him who is ready to judge the living and the dead. We have to give account. We have no choice. But this psalm is not to threaten you of judgment, but it's a reminder of who God is. He is just. And he's also watching over you. <clears throat> he knows where you go. He's behind you and waiting before you get there. There is a reassurance in this God. Reassurance that he is already there waiting for you. But I say for some, it may not be reassuring. Some of you don't want God to know what you're thinking, where you're, where you're going. But is there any place you can go to avoid his spirit? To be out of his sight? If you climb to the sky, he's there. If you go underground, he's there. For people like David, this is reassuring. But for some, this is scary. God sees where you spend your time, what you're doing with your life. Surely darkness will not hide you, for darkness is as light to him. You cannot hide. So stop trying. Stop deceiving yourself. Instead, wake up and stand before God because he sees you anyway. He knows you inside and out. All your imperfections and perfections. For he forms you into who you are. And it's time you stand before God and say, I am marvelously made. All right, so I, I want everyone to repeat that after me. I am marvelously made. All right, let's try that again with more confidence. I am marvelously made. All right, much better. And you have to say it like you mean it, and you should say it until you mean it. <clears throat> because you need to know this truth. You need to know the truth that you are marvelously made. You know, God said, For I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and future. That's what he wants for you, to give you hope and a future. No matter who you are, no matter who you are. He says, if you seek me, you will find me when you seek me with all your heart. Whoever you are, he says, if you seek me, you will find me if you seek me with all your heart. So stand before God and realize this truth and realize how precious are his thoughts how wonderful he is, how amazing that he is, amazing, 
<clears throat> he is that you will also say, just like King David says, oh, let me rise in the morning and live always with you. I mean, how, how great would that be? You know, if, I don't know if you've ever experienced a morning where you woke up and you just feel great. You feel joyful, you just feel great. And this is exactly reflecting that where, oh, let me rise in the morning and live always with you. Wouldn't that be great to just wake up and God's there and you just live with God always? But this psalm reminds us that we cannot just live in this spiritual high. Not yet. Not in this world. Because darkness, wickedness, still lurks around us. And that's why David reminds us to not be a part of wickedness anymore. Do not be a part of what they do anymore. Do not stand in the way of sinners or sit in the seat of mockers. Instead, be blameless. That's what David wants, reminds us, be blameless. <clears throat> because you want to come to God and say, search my heart. We want to be there at that point where we say, God, investigate me, search my heart. You know what is in my heart. Investigate me. That's where we want to be. To say to God, see for yourself whether I've done anything wrong. And certainly we have done wrong. <clears throat> and often we forget God's word. We live our lives. And just like our brother Willie shared last week, unless you already forgot. But we need to remind ourselves with the word of God. We need to get right with God, repent. Get back on track with God. But we easily sin, and so we often must repent. Come back to God and let him investigate you. Let him guide you in life to a life of hope and a future. Your hopes and dreams, let him guide those hopes and dreams. But David's not talking about hopes and dreams here on this earth. You see, he sees the bigger picture. He ends the psalm with, guide me on the road to eternal life. Don't be short-sighted. Our days are numbered, right? He's thinking about life after death. He's thinking the bigger picture. You know, our hopes and dreams here, they're small hopes and dreams. Our days are numbered. What good is it for a man to gain the world but lose his soul? Think bigger, right? And we all know too well these past two years, our days are numbered just like our loved ones. And just before New Year's Day, My wife's cousin became a widow with four young kids. It happens. You know, we know these stories. Even in the song we sang, Overwhelmed. I love that song. By, by the group uh, Big Daddy Weave. One of the main band members, he, he died last week. In his 40s. We know all too well these stories. We know all too well our days are numbered. Our days are numbered. So let's not take our life for granted. 
straighten out your life standing before God. If you have hopes and dreams for this year, I pray it would be God guiding you on the road to eternal life. Right? Again, everything else is just small hopes and dreams. This year, don't let the blind lead the blind anymore. But this year, may you be led by the one who holds the future. Right? If God is the God who knows the future, he has a hope and a future for you. Why not let him guide you? Lay down your hopes and dreams to him. Because we all answer to God. So stand before God and know this. The Lord is not slow in keeping his promise, as some understand slowness. Instead, he is patient with you, not wanting anyone to perish, but everyone to come to repentance. So let's come back to God and repent. Be right with God today. Don't let this day go by without seeking God for repentance. We have to answer to God. So let's stand before him in repentance because he knows already there's nothing to hide. He knows us inside and out. Right? We cannot hide our sins. So repent and let God investigate your life. Start off in the right path this year. For some, you desire hopes and dreams in your life, or some of you don't know where your life is headed. Let God lead you. Let him lead you to a better hope and future. If you desire for his plan to become your plan, let's seek God together. Lastly, do you know where you're going after you die? Are you 100% sure of your future? My brothers and sisters, seek God for this road to eternal life. What do you have to lose? Or rather, what do you have to gain? One famous missionary once said, he is no fool who gives what he cannot keep to gain what he cannot lose. Only God can give you something you cannot lose. Something eternal. And that's life after death. And so, let's come back to God. Let's focus back on how we can achieve these hopes and dreams in our lives. But we need God to lead us. We need to be led by God on the right path. And that path should be the path towards eternal life something that matters because in the bigger picture, right, you know, our days are numbered. We don't know what will happen tomorrow. We don't know what will happen next week, but God does. And he has a much better plan than we can ever imagine. So let's come before God in prayer right now. I will pray for you, but you need to answer to God. For repentance, you need to take that step. I cannot repent for you, but I can guide you. Pray this with me and make it your own prayer. 
God, forgive me. Forgive me for the life I've been living that does not please you. Forgive me for living my life thinking my way is better than your way. Lead me, God, in humbleness, for I want to give up my old life for a new one. You are a God who has a better plan than mine, and I desire you to lead me. I repent of my sin. God, I desire a new life and to turn away from my old ways. I cannot do it on my own. Jesus, you died to set me free of my old ways and to give me a new life. I call on your name to save me, to change my life. Because without you, there is only death in the end for me. So from now on, you are my Lord and Savior. Lead me, God, on this road to eternal life. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. So those of you who desire to get on this path to eternal life, ask one of the leaders in your fellowship. If you desire to be a part of a fellowship, speak to Pastor Ka, speak to one of the leaders, myself. If you don't know who the leaders are, then ask anyone in the congregation. But we want to help you. We want to help you to get on this right path to eternal life. May God guide you. <clears throat> so, welcome again to Sinai Chinese Christian Church. Um, just a couple announcements. Uh, <clears throat> as you already know from the news, COVID is uh, still affecting many, uh, especially in Staten Island. Uh, we want to let everyone know that if you or a family member have attended service, fellowship, Sunday school, whatever in-person meetings that you've uh, met up with and, and have tested positive, please self-report to either the pastor or your leader. Uh, that way we can contact Trace and in an anonymous way, uh, we'll notify those who may be affected. So please uh, do your due diligence um, self-report. And the other announcement, uh, the adult Sunday school will be canceled today. We will continue our study in the book of James next week uh, down in the, uh, downstairs in the, the basement. So let's all rise uh, for the doxology. bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. Therefore go, bear the face of Christ and let the Spirit lead you. You may be seated for a silent prayer. Mm -hmm. 